Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of Coach Master Software. My name is Bob Griffiths, and I'm a coaching facilitator based in the UK. Coach Master is an online tool for coaches who want to work with their clients to set goals and solve problems and challenges. I created Coach Master because I saw there was a lot of good practice within coaching, but not everyone had the time or capacity to learn all the skills required. Coach Master incorporates many of the skills, questions and advice an expert coach would use. Because these are built into the program, it means that anybody who follows the coaching process using Coachmaster enhances their ability to get the best result for their client. In this demonstration, I will show you the features of Coachmaster and explain the underlying model on which it's based. In subsequent videos, I'll show you how Coachmaster is used in actual coaching sessions. Using Coachmaster, a coach can work with an individual or a team of around six people on a wide variety of problems, issues and challenges. Usually the coaching is done in real time. It's like a structured chat session, but you can use Coachmaster offline and sometimes it's more practical to work in this way. Coachmaster is based on the GROW model, which is probably the best known coaching model in the world today. If you're not familiar with it, I will be explaining the features during the demonstration. And if you'd like to know more about GROW, have a look at my website, www.bobgriffiths.com, or you can buy the book, Grow Your Own Carrot, which is available from Amazon. During the demonstration, I'll use the term coach for those asking the questions and client for those answering the questions. One of the features of Coach Master is that there are different sets of questions and advice according to the issue the coach is dealing with. We're going to be looking at the question set to help a client who has a problem with a difficult person. There are also question sets for coaching somebody who wants a promotion, has bad time management, to coach salespeople and many other common coaching issues. There are two basic screens in Coachmaster. We're currently looking at the coach's screen, and in a moment we'll look at the screen for the client or clients. Let's look at the coach's screen first. On the tab, you have the name of the session. At the top right, you have the name of the person who's the coach for the session and the person or people who they are coaching. So Bob is the coach with the hat and Frank is the client. As I previously mentioned, there could be about six participants if they're all part of a team working on the same issue or problem. Below that, you have a number of tabs which the coach uses to navigate between the different stages of the model. There are six tabs. The first tab is overall, for the overall goal. That's the goal the client wants in order to solve their problem, issue or challenge. The second is for the session goal. That's to say what the client wants out of working with the coach this session. The third is reality, where they are currently in relation to their overall goal. The fourth is obstacles, which are what's stopping them going straight from where they are to where they want to go. The fifth is options for creating ways around the obstacles. And the final one is way forward or actions that the client will take to put some of the options into operation. For each stage of the model, there are a number of subsets of questions. Each subset has a hint at the top for the coach, and sometimes there are additional hints in the questions. There can be different subsets according to the issue that's being dealt with. These are the subsections for the difficult person process. For the overall goal stage, they are general questions, questions to check if the goal is too big, to check what the personal payoffs are for the client and whether it's properly formed, and the language clarification questions. There is also a help tab for the coach if they find the session is not going well. In any one session, the coach will probably not need all the subsections or all the questions in the subsections, but they remind the coach of what should be considered and questions which might be useful. Beside each question, there is an ask button. If the button is clicked, the question is sent to the lower left hand side of the screen to the input panel. Once it is in the input panel, the question can just be sent or edited and then sent, or the coach can type freeform text into the panel. That's most of the key features of the coach's screen. Let's look at the client's side. The main difference between the two sides are that the client does not have the question sets that the coach sees. The client sees a description of the stages with the current stage in colour so they know where they are in the process. As the coach sends questions, the client sees them in the session log, and then they type their responses to it in the input panel. In this way, a dialogue is built up for each stage until the coach and client are satisfied that they have reached a satisfactory outcome for that stage. 
In this case, as we're dealing with the overall goal, it will be a clear overall goal in terms of dealing with the difficult person. Once the coach and client are satisfied with the overall goal, the coach can select text and drag it down to the input panel where it can be further edited. Then the coach uses this drop down menu to post the text to this tab at the bottom right. These are the summary tabs where you can see the summary of each stage of the process as it is completed. This means both coach and client can check the summary of a particular stage at any time in the process without going back to the log. The coach then navigates to the next stage and the dialogue is built up for the session goal. The same process occurs for all the other stages until a coaching session is completed and the client has created a series of actions they are confident will lead them towards their goal. So this is a short version of what we can do with Coachmaster. There are many other subjects that we can be tackled effectively with the question sets and processes built into the program. If you would like to talk about how Coachmaster could help your organisation learn coaching skills while solving problems, drop me an email to bob at bobgriffiths.com or visit my website www.bobgriffiths.com. Thanks for watching.